Hi, my name is Tracy, and this is my mother, Judy. We want to share a story with you about something that happened a few days before Christmas, and uh, with the hopes that you will share this with all your loved ones, your parents, grandparents, um, kids out there, so you are not victims of a crime like we were. A few days before Christmas, my mom received a telephone call from Wells Fargo Bank. The they spoofed the Wells Fargo number, so it was, she has banked with Wells Fargo for 52 years. She's very familiar with her 1-800 number, and the call came in, caller ID from that 1-800 number. Answered the phone call, and Wells Fargo said it's, well, the person posing as Wells Fargo said, this is Wells Fargo Fraud Department. We want to verify if you made any of these purchases in Texas, right? Right to which she hadn't made, they listed all these different thousands and dollars of, um, thousands of dollars of purchases that she had not made. So then they went on to say, well, we need to protect your account. And in order to protect you from this fraud that's about to take place, um, we need to verify that it's you and do some protective major measures. At that point, they started sending her the code from Wells Fargo that they wanted her to read back. And she, the whole time, is thinking this is the fraud department trying to help her from these charges um, that were about to... Charges or wires? Well, it was charges. Charges that they, were about to yes. take place. Yes. Um, and so gave them the verification code and to which then they were able to gain access of her, all of her accounts in Wells Fargo and added themselves as wire recipients, um, putting her name as the nickname on the wire so the wire would look like it was going to Judy, but it wasn't. And um, wired out $49,000 wires until they drained every cent that she had. And um, they did the 49,000 because at 50, you cannot do an online wire 50 or more. So they did 49,000 and just multiple of them. Um, once this was happening, she was getting kind of that spider sense of a feeling, right? That just something didn't seem right. But again, with all intents, she thought that these people were trying to protect her from Wells Fargo. Um, called me and I said, you know, hang up with me right now, call Wells Fargo directly, call them and let them know what's going on. And so they had, um, so I, as soon as I got her phone call, I drove over to her place and what they had done also is forwarded all her cell phone call, calls by having her do star 72 or something saying that they needed her to do something on her phone. This forwarded all the calls to this other number. I imagine they do that in case Wells Fargo actually tries to call her that it goes to that other number, but I don't believe on looking at the call log that Wells Fargo fraud department did try to call her while this was taking place. Um, we have started an investigation. We have filed a police report with the Chula Vista Police Department. We have also filed something with the FBI. We know the bank and the routing number that it went to um, at Discover Bank. We are hoping that Wells Fargo is doing everything they can in order to um, get that money back. But every time we call, there's no new information. So, Please share this with everybody that you know. Obviously, this is uh, not easy. <laughs> you know, for you feel foolish, but in looking at everything, I mean, they called from that number. And the best thing in, in speaking with the police um, department is if ever you receive a phone call, even if it's from an institution that you are familiar with, always hang up and call them back. Even if they try to tell you, oh no, call me directly at this number. You call the number on the back of your card that you are familiar with um, directly. And usually these people will make you feel a sense of urgency as they did that all this money um, was going to get charged to her account if she didn't act quickly. 
and unfortunately they took everything that she had and so um, please again share it with people that you know and we hope that this will help some of you out there I, friends and family have reached out because they've been a little concerned about my posts on different social media platforms about trying to connect with um, FBI and police department and such and I know I worried you know some people with those posts but we're just trying to find the right people um, to help us and hopefully retrieve it was over a hundred thousand that was that was taken that we had money set aside for my dad's care who's on hospice so share away thank you for listening